Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi cancer this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd and the first card you have is temperance and it looks like we have Athena riding on a white horse the goddess of war she fought for what she believed in and perhaps you are doing that as well trying to find balance uh, between your world and the normal world or everyday world and everything that's difficult in that world like trying to work from home when you have the kids um, instead of going out to work and perhaps f bringing your work home trying to find the balance on when and how and where you can work perhaps you're trying to keep the balance between your head and your heart or your head and your mind like your heart is telling you your mind what to do and your mind is telling what your heart what to do and you're trying to find the perfect balance but you could also be meeting a Sagittarius as temperance also represents Sagittarius then we have the Queen of Hearts the Queen of Hearts the Queen of Hearts is Scorpio but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces you've also got number 17 which becomes an 8 and that's your powerhouse your money house and power strength you are in your strength and you are stronger than you know there might be money coming from you this could be because of an inheritance this could be a gift uh, this could also be um, winning the lottery but you've got the stalks on the other hand and that is the Lenaman. and the stalks means you might be moving home this could also be that you might be moving job it means moving okay there might be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or a question that you have um, am I going to lose my job no because things are going to turn around for the better um, so you there will still you you will still have your job as there is going to be a positive turnaround in that situation because you will be finding your balance now the stalks also mean new beginnings birth of a baby birth of a job so there might be a new beginning in your job you might get a promotion you might find a way that you have uh, found your balance that you can work from home and everything is fine on Wednesday you have the King of Fire the King of Fire is Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius you have a very fiery because this is also fire um, this is Sagittarius and this is Aries um, but like I said don't ex exclude any of the other fire signs especially because Sagittarius is lying here um, uh, it is an, a, a time of action a passion creativity you will find a solution because you are creative in finding a way to do what you want that is the fire energy but at the same time you could be meeting an, an Aries you could be meeting a Leo or a Sagittarius man if you are not hooked up and even and if you are hooked up you could still be meeting one of these people 
and it might be just a new friendship or somebody that's advising you or helping you as he's a very determined man and he knows what he wants and he he's going to get it he'll fight to the end for that and he's very strategic and he's very logical so perhaps he might even help you to um, to bring balance into your life since this is the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Cups, um, and like I said, it does. Re uh, the Queen is Scorpio, but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. So this might be you coupling up with a fire sign. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, and number twenty-two of the Linamon, which is the Crossroads. You'll have to make choices and decisions. And you've got the angel number 22, which is also two and twos for a proper foundation. This won't be a, a, a passionate relationship alone. This will be definitely a relationship that's built on proper foundations, as four is proper foundations, productivity and getting things going. But you will have choices. Perhaps you might have a choice between a water sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign, since this is the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Diamonds. And here I see an eye, so you might be keeping an eye uh, on one of these people. You might have your eye on one of these people. Okay. And cards aren't discriminative. Discriminative. It could be a man that is an, a water sign or a, 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 an earth sign with a feminine side to him. That the feminine side is his caring side will shine out. And otherwise you'll just meet a female of the water or the earth sign. And the earth signs are, of course, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now, she's, she also stands for fertility, new beginnings. Like the stork, you might find out you're pregnant. The ground is fertile to get pregnant at the moment, so if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. And if you're a man, take precautions as well. You know, it can come from both ways. Then be nurturing, be caring, and protect yourself and the other. Okay. Now, she has green fingers, so the seeds that she plants, she makes sure that they will uh, give birth and come above the ground and grow and blossom and harvest. So, you might have invested your time, Cancer, in uh, an earth sign uh, or a water sign or a fire sign and you're nurturing it and you're making this relationship grow coming close together as she stands for uh, durability and long term wow and so does the water sign really you are a nurturing and a passionate uh, type as well you will nurture something into growing beautiful and strong so I think this could be a fire sign with either earth as moon sign or rising sign or water as moon sign and rising sign or it could be um, a fire sign because fire is dominant here with moon sign water rising earth on Friday you have the Sun and here we are we've got Leo so we have Aries Leo and Sagittarius fire is in your week this week that means action passion you'll be doing things that you're passionate about you're quite strategic and logical because you're going for your goal you want your goal or your wish to come to fruition the Sun also means that you might be going on holiday or moving home again a confirmation on the stalks okay and you are in the spotlight well I would say so in this reading because you're definitely in the eye of the fire sign this could be a lady since we've got two ladies but it could also be a man 
so a new love could be a fire sign or an earth sign or an other water sign. The sun means uh, fertility, the same as the queen of pentacles or the queen of earth. Birth, you might be hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant. This could be of a child or a job. Again, action. So you might, and Leo, you might be getting it. If it's not here now, you will be getting it in August. And possibly going into Virgo as the Queen is Virgo, that predominantly so, and you've got the other son, the son of Lenaman, and again you've got one and three, that makes a four, so you've got two fours. Again it means the same thing as in the tarot, fertility, birth, um, hearing of a birth, finding out you're pregnant, so if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions you've got the ace of diamonds here which is the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles means uh, also moving home new beginnings something that's durable and for long term this could be a relationship with the pentacles so it's, uh, it could be a new job something actually tangible and that you can keep for a long time that will grow with you and where you can grow you'll become a star because the Sun is also a spotlight but there are things that you don't know because it's something is illuminated this could mean that you might be so fantastic and your, that your uh, people are keeping an eye on you and they see how active you are, nurturing and caring, um, um, and that you're diligent, that you might even get a promotion. Because the sun also means going up to the next level. This could be in a love relationship, uh, like if you are going out together you might get engaged. If you're engaged, you might uh, get to uh, married, uh, or you might move in together. As the sun also means moving home, like the stalks. You might find out that you're pregnant, and that's why you're going to live together, or move in together, or getting married. And the last card of the week is the weekend and you've got the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles in this deck means bounty that means that you are going to have more than you can uh, than you expect it okay somebody might be giving you money it's like here she is um, uh, more fortunate than the person that is on the stairs and she's giving money so you might be receiving a gift like I said this is the ace of diamonds so more money is coming in this could be of the rice this could be the promotion um, you this could be the recognition or they might be giving you uh, money and the card that you have here is the dog and the dog is means um, uh, ultimate friendship a trustworthy friendship a loyal friend you'll find out that somebody is loyal and you've got one and eight that's a nine something is coming to an end and you've got the ten of cups the ten of hearts ultimate happiness ultimate fulfillment in emotions this could be an ending to difficult times emotionally and going into a new beginning emotionally like I said it could be between a, an, a, a, a water sign a fire sign and an earth sign and this relationship will be long-lasting as the Queen of Pentacles nurtures and also the Queen of Hearts the Queen of Cups this relationship will be long-lasting it could be a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo or it could be a water sign or an earth sign 
and here we've got the ace of earth so that means all three signs of earth but most prominent is a Virgo Wow now we're going to go over on to the um, uh, Avalonian Oracle deck and you have the um, Shadow Sovereignty the Shadow Sovereignty now it is a very explicit uh, I won't go into too much detail but it's a cauldron and it's also got a talk which is like a bracelet the key words are balance again that is the card temperance balance duality light and dark you can't do without one or the other union of opposites so this person that you might be meeting could be your opposite you you might have water in your chart or fire or earth death and rebirth so there might be something restarting a second chance growth and transformation like I said both these queens make sure that they nurture the growth and the progress the progress in a relationship or in what they do so there could be a restart in an old flame perhaps Um, what this card really means every ebb has its flow so every we've got in our lives highs and lows one can be experienced one cannot be experienced without the other the two aspects of being are reflections of and responses to the other there is no shadow without light release expectations of perfection in all things and at all times so perhaps you've set your sights too high let it c let anything come in the way it is don't expect the um, what you want expect the unexpected there is balancing taking place the yield of the present has its roots in the past and in order to understand the now it is important to consider what has already passed even as today the seeds of tomorrow are being sown consider then what fruits you would like to reap in the harvest of the future even in the bleakest of times remember that from the tiniest of seeds slumbering deep in the earth to the first stirrings of the embryonic development in the womb to the very life journey of the individual soul the greatest growth occurs in the most profound darkness it is important to remember that the truths of this greater mystery while going through those life changes that seem hopeless and without end as well as to keep it in the mind during those golden days of plenty everything shifts eventually strife to life consciously ensure that the groundwork you lay in the now permits a gentle balancing when the cycle turns around again so don't get disheartened don't get disheartened if you are in at the moment alone or in a down cycle because new things are coming you've laid the seeds down and you are changing you are changing your boundaries you are changing your knowledge you're changing your life experience nothing is ever the same so perhaps you might be in a down moment more less fortunate so somebody will be there to give you a helping hand just don't expect what you want you must balance and compromise 
so let it come towards you. The affirmation that you can use is, I am a sum, total of all aspects of my being, the light and dark, the sovereignty that your own, yourself, and shadow. I cannot, so in other words, you accept and love yourself and more the shadow side of you. I cannot be one without the other. I bless my challenges for the gifts they bring me, your life experiences and the knowledge you gain, and appreciate my accomplishments for the tools they grant me. I am an ever-growing, constantly changing and always evolving as I surrender to the cycle that moves around and through me. Everybody changes and some of us grow up earlier than others. So be patient with other people, be nurturing, be understanding but compromise and dealing with a fire sign, okay? They are active, they are quick, 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 quick and you are slower cancer or gentler, let me put it that way. So know your boundaries, let others know your boundaries and learn to compromise and learn to adjust then you will find your true friends so long they know what you want and you know what they want you'll be able to find the balance then we have a card from the TLC tender loving care for the soul seen in your own unique way yes you want to be seen and appreciated in your own way and that is perhaps the lesson that you have to learn that you don't have to snap at somebody or uh, whatever but let others know your boundaries and what you would like and find out what the others would like and that is how you can balance friendships and relationships now there is also it's the picture is not only beautiful it's like, it reminds me, you need to have your own space. Let other people know your space. And you need some quiet time to heal the hole within you or to heal your heart because you might feel um, heartbroken with res regards to something. And that's why you can't find your balance. You need to be whole. You need to get out of the valley or the dull that you're in now and climb up to the summit okay exquisite being that's you unique exquisite beautiful being you have captured the heart of the divine not only the divine I might add there are people around you that love you and admire you but what worldly standard are you holding yourself to like I said you might have too many high expectations from of yourself and others and I didn't know that, that this card meant that but that is what it means and this is spirit and the divine working through me already giving me answers before I read the card I didn't even know that this card meant this you can believe me or not shine from within through graciousness generosity and thoughtfulness you are like that. That is what you are, Cancer. How could you be anything else? Because you're the caring sign. You represent that. Loving and passion and nurturing. In the eyes of expectancy, there is always more that could have been done to feel that you are finally good enough. But for what and for whom? Keep a soft place in your heart for yourself. As if you were your own best friend boom best friend listen to your own voice of judgment it is usually the own to be found at odds and sorry uh, listen to your own voice of judgment it is usually to be found as odds and ends of the mind strewn or strewn about and in need of discarding fill up with the fragrant truth 
that you are exceptionally fashioned by the powers that be. So throw away your beliefs that you are not good enough. Be your own best friend. Let your inner child also come out. Believe in yourself. Love yourself because you are unique in your own right. Be assertive. Be as assertive of yourself. Be assertive of what is happening around you. Assess what's happening around you and the way people treat you and the way the people admire you. Ascertain what you can do to be your magical self and feel enough for who you are right now because you're perfect everybody's perfect and we have imperfections which makes us unique and perfect in other options I'm sorry if this is heavy or <laughs> very far thought but just think of it if you turn inside and you meditate and contemplate you take time out for yourself and evaluate and you feel good with your decisions then you are where you want to be in this sacred space seeing in your unique unique way see yourself in your unique way then you are in a good space, magical space. It brings peace. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Take care, my sweeties, and stay safe. If you're on holiday, come back safely, and I hope to see you soon in the lives. Take care. Ciao, ciao.